A sellout crowd gathered at Terranea to raise thousands of dollars for the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy. More than 200 guests dined under moonlit skies at the Conservancy's first ever event called Palos Verdes Pastoral. Liz Brown Swanson has more on the extravaganza. Hi Maria, I'm here at Terranea at their signature restaurant Marcel. Behind me more than 200 supporters of the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy have come together for the first time ever to experiencing a unique garden to table dining experience. We're just thrilled. We're so appreciative of our sponsors and all of the people attending that have made it a success. Uh, this is important because this helps the Land Conservancy to restore property, acquire open space, and continue the good works that we started almost 25 years ago. So we're very happy with the, the event. Oh, you know, coming from the Conservancy, how could we not be sort of irresistibly drawn to this whole idea of farm to table? And with our incredible sponsor, Whole Foods, we now have access to all those beautiful products that Chef Michael Fiorelli is using in tonight's menu. We're serving uh, some just some pasta hors d'oeuvres and champagne just as now that people are kind of mingling and, and introducing each other. Then we're going to have, uh, for our bread tonight, we made our uh, fresh homemade English muffins, so they're going to get to tear into some fresh English muffins with soft butter and sea salt. Also, we've got a heirloom tomato salad that they'll be uh, they'll having. We did a grilled Spanish octopus tonight with a chorizo and salsa verde. And then Thad, my buddy Thad he, from Homegrown Ranch, he donated some, uh, some beautiful ribeyes tonight. So we grilled some ribeyes with roasted carrots, and then we made a... Uh, uh, blueberry crisps. So everybody's going to finish off with an oatmeal blueberry crisps. I, I don't think it's going to get any better than this. It, it was 85 degrees about an hour ago. It's cooled off perfectly. Nice breeze. We're here at Terranea and behind me is this wonderful 1600 acres of open space that both the Palos Verdes Land Conservancy and so many other members of the community have worked so hard to preserve over the years. Well, um, our mission is preserving land, restoring habitat for the education and enjoyment of all. And with the 1,600 acres of land that have been preserved here on the peninsula, it's both a community and a regional resource. So the funds that are raised here this evening will go to um, helping to restore the habitat and to um, be good land stewards to this great resource. It's a wonderful organization and living here and hiking on the trails and being down here on the cliffs and in the community. So they're doing the greatest job. I teach at Marymount College. Uh, um, I know a number of the people in Land Conservancy and they just do a phenomenal job at uh, keeping our open land around us, which is nice. This is fantastic. This is unique. I really have never seen anything like this before. And I predict that this will be an annual event. It, it, it just really is fun. It's dynamic. It's, it's just got so much going for it. And uh, look at the turnout. They sold out, I understand. It's a fantastic location for this, and it's quite apropos. Uh, this resort just got the SEED Award for Environmental Excellence in their landscaping and water quality plan. It fits right in with the Land Conservancy, Preservation of Natural Habitat and Open Space, and Terranea is an ideal location for this kind of event. We have been partnering with the Land Conservancy since before we opened. So they are one of our nominated um, charitable organizations. They helped us before we opened with advice about the planting and indigenous plants, and they've been very supportive in bringing native flora and fauna here. So it's an organization we, we're very, we care deeply about, and we're very honored that they chose us to do this very cool event. Rancho Palos Verdes has a lot of jewels, a lot of assets that we should be all proud of as, as uh, residents in our city. And you know whether it's uh, Terranea, whether it's the Nature Preserve, whether it's, it's Trump, I mean all these beautiful um, assets that we have in our city, we're, we're very fortunate as a city and you know it should make our residents proud. Congratulations to Terranea and Marcel and of course the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy for an incredible feast for a wonderful cause. Back to you, Maria. This inaugural event was such a success that plans are already in the works for the second annual Palos Verdes Pastoral. And congratulations go out to some very talented PV High students who recently won a photography contest sponsored by Freedom For You. I caught up with the winners who talk about their award-winning photos. 
Uh, well, my dad has always taken uh, photos, like, from from the earliest I can remember. He's just always, like, had a camera in his hand, so it's kind of influenced me a lot to, like, want to follow that and take photos because he, he finds such a patch, and I think it's interesting. You've lived all over the world. Did you, did you stop one day and see something and thought, I want to take a picture of this, or how did it happen? For me, it's like... If I see something cool, I want to show other people, and if that's how I th see it, so I, yeah, I saw something cool, so I took a photo. Okay. It's the Oslo Opera House, uh, and I was walking just around. My dad was at work, and so uh, I had some free time, and so I just thought I'd take his bike and just go around, and I saw uh, something look cool, and I take a photo of it. Your work is, it's very abstract. You've obviously manipulated on the computer. Talk about what this is and how you did that. It was an assignment that we had to do and I was having, like seriously, the I was having a lot of difficulty with it. I could not figure out how to shoot this whatsoever and one day I was like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it. And, it, and um, pretty much I took like, um, it's a panorama, so okay. I stood like in, in the exact same place and just took pictures in a circle. And then in Photoshop, I, um, I made like, uh, flattened the photos out so it's like one big photo. And then I did a couple of filters and made it like a little mini world. <laughs> I like a lot of shapes. Like okay. I think shapes in photography um, have a lot of significance in them sometimes. And I wanted to, um, I started off very like with just like flowers and stuff, just like simple, elegant shapes like that. And then I progressed to like um, to more photoshopped shapes. Okay. And so I started doing um, more abstract work. My photography has never been like recognized before, so it was it was a very um, exciting moment when I got an email saying I was a finalist, and I was like, I don't even care if I win. Just the fact that I'm a finalist is great. And coming up next, while the NHL may be on hold, Peninsula residents got a chance to hold on to the cup. And Mark J. Dotty turns Halloween a little green in the Green Beat. There's a lot to enjoy in RPV. Just watch Armchair Traveler on RPV TV. We may not get to Europe, but by golly, if you come with me, John Clayton, you'll find out just how much there is to see in RPV every single day. I say, that sounds super.